we can be part of at least making people aware of this and elevating the discussion. I mean, ultimately, that's what we're trying to do at the kitchen is elevate the discussion, get people to, to start thinking about these other things and lure them in through the guise of hunger. You know, we, we often think of the kitchen as a Trojan horse and everyone can understand hunger's bad, hunger's wrong, people shouldn't be hungry. Okay, let's go feed poor people. And then when they come in and they work side by side with men and women who have been in prison, who have been addicted, who have been abused, uh, and, and see what they're doing now they leave thinking, oh my God, this, is, this was A, not what I was bargaining for, and B, now I'm really gonna have to start thinking a little differently when I go back to my community and I hear people talking about those people or making these assumptions, say, well, once you're in prison, you're done. You, 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 you can't, leopard can't change his spots, whatever cliche you wanna use. Uh, but when you're in there doing it inside this Trojan horse of ours, people are forced to confront these stereotypes. Uh, and break down these barriers. And that's what we're hoping will, again, continue to go outside, out of the kitchen.